What's going on? How you doing? This is Coach MT, and um, I'm making this video for those of you who saw my post on Facebook or if you saw me on YouTube somewhere talking about this process that you can use in paying your bills, all right? So before I get started, um, I just want to let you know this process works. There's a lot of people around me that this process works for. Um, I've seen it work. Um, I've seen it happen. Seen it work. It's absolutely phenomenal. Um, working for myself, but I just want to make sure I make this video. Secondly, this is not for scary people. Okay, um, you know I've, I've attempted to share this process with some individuals, and they just didn't believe it. They were scared. So if you're if you're somebody who's scary, and you ask a lot of scary questions, then this is not for you. Okay, I'm, I'm not here to answer scary questions. I'm here to give the facts and show you that this works, okay? So I am, I need to pull something up and I think it's on my, I think it's on my um, my jump drive. So hold on one second. Okay, I located it. I located the information that I was looking for. I think I'm gonna minimize this screen so I can read it. Okay, perfect. So just to let you know, um, you know, without getting into too much detail, because the details are going to be in the training, or the details are going to be in. Excuse me, when we when we connect, either the phone or Zoom, depending on you know how you want how you want to connect, right? Um, and gathering this information is not it, it's not cheap. Okay, the the, the individual I've learned from the uh, the amount I had to spend to get access to it, but. You know, some of the stuff I'm gonna give away free, some of it charged for. It's just, you know what, it's not gonna be too expensive, right? Because I wanna make sure that you have enough to be able to, to take care of your this process and everything else in your life, okay? So, so the next thing you wanna do is make sure if you are on ePay, turn it off, okay? Or log into your, um, you know, your credit card statement, wherever it is, and print off a statement. Right, look, look, it, wherever, wherever you pay your bills online, print off a statement, okay? And you want the statement to look something like this. All right, let me let me maximize the video. Okay, something looks like this is my one for Navy Federal. Okay, so whatever it is, make sure you print off a statement or turn off your e billing. All right, so this actually, this right here is actually a ch is actually a check. Okay, this part of your statement. From here up is actually a, a check. Sometimes it'll say remittance coupon or payment coupon near the line. This is actually a check. So, um, and one thing I learned from uh, my, my uh, the individuals who taught me this is that you know the, the moment you apply for anything where you're using credit, all right, credit card, a car, a house, a loan, the moment you apply with your social security number, that company that is automatic is it is almost immediately paid okay because that money is coming from your trust all right everybody who has a social security number has a trust at the treasury um that's worth you know a lot of money i'm, I'm just going to use the word millions okay um now it's not like it's not a bank or anything it's a trust so and your social security number is is your credit that's why people ask you for your social security number when you're asking for credit that is your that is your credit okay so that company is immediately paid for the amount of money that it gave to you so if you got a credit card that has twenty thousand dollars on it that company is using your social security number getting the money from your trust they get they get paid from your trust because you when you give them your social security number you're giving them permission to do this okay and now they are loaning you your money from your trust so they've already been paid so when you that's why when you get your bill the number is positive all right that's a positive number right there it says 574 that's a positive number now if you owed something if something is owed shouldn't you be in the hole let's say for instance um you went to your bank and you had a thousand dollars in there right that's a plus thousand and let's say you wrote a check for a thousand dollars or a thousand one dollar and it goes through well then, once it goes through, you look back in your bank account, it'll say minus one dollar. That means you owe. Okay, well the reason that when you get your bill is positive is because it's already been paid. So when you are paying back 
you know, when you are paying the credit card company, when you're paying the, 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 the light company, the, the, the gas company, you're actually satisfying the debt. You're not paying the debt. And that company is actually keeping your Federal Reserve notes, which is your money. OK, they're actually keeping it and charging you interest on your own money right now. I, I know that sounds crazy. That's what I said at the beginning. If you want those scary individuals that are like, oh, my gosh, I know that conspiracy theory stuff, then this is not for you. OK, this is definitely not for you. Um, but, but these are things that are abs absolutely true. There are laws out there, um, UCC uh, laws, uniform um, consumer codes that that state these things. OK, so this is a check and there's a way you fill it out and send it back in to your um, your either credit card company or your loan company or your car company or mortgage company. doesn't matter. Um, and the most important thing is knowing what those laws are. Okay, now when we connect or if, if I decide to put this in the training or what have you, then you know I'll, I'll explain to you how it works. But first thing you want to do is either print off all your statements, everything, everything that you, all your debts, all your bills, print your statement off or turn your e-bill off and let them mail you a statement. Okay, let them mail you. It's better to mail you a statement because sometimes on the back of the statement, I, I print this off, they have things that you can, uh, you know, they say, well, you know, just either send a coupon or send, uh, don't, don't send anything with it. Just send the coupon with it. You won't read some of that, that fine print. But if you, if you want to get started right now, you want to start this process, then just go log in and print off a statement. Now, if you can't do that, call your credit card company or the loan company and say, Hey, can you mail me a statement? Or can you help me turn off my e-billing? It's the reason why they have you do e-billing, right? It's the reason why they started to say hey you know go paperless you know let's save the trees listen all right this, this turn off your e-bill and this one sheet of paper is not saving any trees okay <laughs> the reason they do they do that is so that you don't learn this process it's so that you don't have this in your hand it's so that you don't have the the check like this right here this this is a check okay and what will happen is once you fill it out correctly you mail it back in because they've already been paid they'll apply the credits to the account all right so you you could do the minimum payment you could do um half the you know half the amount owed, whatever it may be but there's a way you fill this out there's laws you put on here certain words you put on here certain things you do on this payment when you send it in and they'll apply that, that to your account now if they don't do it there's steps to take you know you can either call you can explain the laws to them like hey according to this law this is what it says you can do something called a condition acceptance. You can take it. You can send it to the CEO and the CFO's office because they, you know, when they look at this, they'll know exactly what it is. Sometimes when you send it into the PO box, the people there who are processing the payments, they may not know what it is. Okay, um, and then sometimes you you may have to take another step uh, in in that process. Okay, so but that is how this works. As soon as soon as you use your social security number to apply for something you're giving that company permission to get access to your trust it's called a cess to k trust and they and whatever amount of money they gave you they are they are they have taken that money from your trust and you are borrowing your own money that's why when you get your all your bills all of your bills are a positive number the amount of money they say you owe is a positive number because that account has already been paid all right and there, there may be some times you may run to some individuals that we can't do that. You know, our policy is, well, the law is above the policy. OK, no matter what that company's policy is, the law is above the policy. And there are certain laws that you write on this at the bottom. OK, so in each law means, you know, it ha has different sayings and different statements. Um, one of those is. All right, I'm going to read it to you. All right, I'm going to read you part of the law. Okay, so this is pertaining to this this process. So this law you're going to write on here, and it says here if the tender of payment, the tender, this is a this is tender of payment. Okay, if the tender of payment of an obligation to pay an instrument is made to a person entitled to enforce the instrument, that means the individuals. At the credit card company, at the loan company, wherever, um, at the finance company, they're enforced. Uh, they're entitled to enforce the instrument 
all right this is the instrument as well too okay the effect of tender is governed by principles of law applicable to tender of payment under a simple contract and that's what this law is I'm reading you right now this law is called tender of payment part B says if tender of payment of an obligation to pay an instrument right to pay the instrument which is the, the, the contract is made to the person entitled to enforce the instrument and the tender is refused there is a discharge to the extent of the amount of the tender of obligation an endorser or accommodation party having a right of recourse with respect to the obligation to which the tender relates basically that says that if you send this in and they refuse it that debt is discharged to the amount that is that's on there so when you fill this out you're going to put a certain amount so the amount here is 574 that part is discharged all right and they have to apply that to your account it says it right here and then c says if the tender payment of an of an amount due on an instrument is made to a, a person entitled to enforce the instrument the obligation of the obligor to pay interest after the due date on the amount tender is discharged that means that if they did if they refuse it and there's interest added on to that because it's after the due date right you send it you send it you send it on time right you send the payment on time whatever the due date is on here you sent it on time and they refused it and now was past the due date any interest that compounds that is discharged as well too okay so a a b and c of this law is written on the coupon when you send it in because you are using this as payment you're using this as as payment hey i sent you the payment they refused it it is now discharged okay so that is how this works now um if you want to know how to to do this let me know and i'll schedule uh, i'll send you a link for our calendar and you know we'll go we'll, we'll um we'll, we'll go we'll go over it, all right now will it cost a little bit absolutely all right because this is going to save you a lot of money it's going to save you a lot of money as you learn this process as you learn learn the laws okay but again if you're scary don't listen don't come with scary scary questions like oh my god anybody ever did this oh, who went to jail oh my god my cousin said my dad said we, mm -mm. this is for those who are like okay i'm ready to learn something new i'm ready to get this thing going okay so connect with me if you want just say hey um coach i want the the the, the schedule link i'll send the link we'll schedule the time go over it we'll be on zoom and show you exactly how all this works okay and how you can do your if, if they refuse it how to do your recourse all that stuff and i'll make sure you have everything all the documents everything that you need uh within that call so i may turn to a training i may not because even in the training people are still going to have questions so but i want to make sure that during that time you get your questions answered and anytime you want to connect you can absolutely do that because you know you've already paid for for the time okay so uh, i'm going to create a link to get on the schedule you schedule the time don't miss your time because you what, what your time is your time all right and you pay for that time okay so don't miss the appointment if you missed the appointment you got to reschedule all right so hope you got hope you got some value today hope we kind of like you know make you make you think a little bit but uh coach mt and we'll talk with you soon Hey, how you doing? This is Coach MT. I want to thank you for watching this video. Make sure you click right here to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss anything. Click right here on this link to get your process started. We have some more great free value over here for you. Again, thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next video.